Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Draven Academy, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the CDL road test. So if you're not aware, the CDL road test is split into three different parts. The first part of the test is all about inspecting the truck. They're gonna to have to inspect both the inside and outside of the vehicle. The second part of the test is all about parking the truck six different ways. And the third part of the test is actually driving the truck on the road itself. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the trusty seat belt. So in the seat belt portion, everybody is always asking, hey, John, when do I put on my seat belt? When do I not put on my seat belt? I don't wanna fail because of a seat belt. So let me break down exactly when you should be using your seat belt and at what portion of the test. So during the inspection portion of the test, you only need your seat, you only need your seat belt when the vehicle is in motion, which means when you're doing the last portion of the inside inspection, which is that tug test, you're testing the brakes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you definitely want to give us a call 908-525-3609 because if you have a test coming up, coming up and you have no idea what a tug test is, you're definitely going to fail. And I don't want to see that happen to you, so you definitely want to make sure that you're giving us a call to get the best training around from the best truck driving school in the entire country. But today we're going to focus on the second portion of the road test, which is the parking maneuvers. So in this portion of the test, it usually takes about 30 minutes to complete. And here we're going to be testing your skills and your ability to park up to six different ways. So we're going to definitely ask you how to, how to make sure that you can back up this vehicle straight 100 feet. We're going to ask you how to do an offset back either to the right or to the left. And then we can ask you between, hey, I want you to alley dock the vehicle or I want you to parallel park the vehicle, whether that's to the passenger side or to the driver's side. Now, a lot of times people kind of get nervous. Hey, I'm moving the vehicle. I'm in the yard and I need to put on my seatbelt. So there's no technical rule saying that you have to put on your seatbelt. It's not gonna fail you if you do put on your seatbelt or if you do not. And the main reason is, for safety reasons, one, you're pretty, you're pretty much the only one in the yard or the only one in that area. The examiner's gonna be outside of the vehicle to make sure everything's okay. Also, you're not going at any type of high speed to have any type of incident or injury. So that means, and seatbelt sometimes kind of prevent you from kind of looking out the window and doing whatever you have to do. So when it comes to taking, making sure that you have your seatbelt on for that portion of the test, you can decide. If you feel more comfortable with it on, please do. If you do not want to keep it on, no need to keep it on. You can take it off because you will be coming in and out of the vehicle quite a few times to get out and look because that is part of that test itself. So if you want that extra step, go for it. If not, no big deal. It's not going to fail you and it's probably going to make you more comfortable. But if you do not have your seatbelt on, make sure it's extremely important that your butt does not get off the seat. Because if your butt leaves the seat for whatever reason, say you're doing an extra one of these, or you're looking at the passenger side, if you're looking at the passenger side, whatever you have to do, if your butt leaves the seat, that technically means it's a get out look. And you're very limited on how many get out looks you have per maneuver itself. So that being said, if you want some more information on how to, how to learn how to park a tractor trailer, learn how to pass your CDL road test, do whatever you have to do in the CDL vehicle, give us a call, 908-525-3609, or take a virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. So the third part of the road test is actually driving on the road. And of course here, you're gonna be driving the road, driving on the road with everyone else on the road, which means you have to follow all the rules, which seatbelt is 100% required. If you do not wear your seatbelt for the actual road portion of the road test, then that's technically an automatic fail, and we don't wanna see that happen to you. So one more time, let's get you that CDL license that you're after. Our mission is to help a million people get on the road to freedom and what's more free than driving where you wanna go and making more money while you're doing it. So give us a call, 908-525-3609. Hope this helped you out and I hope you put on your seatbelt anytime that you're driving on the road itself. Thanks and have a great day.